Okay, so I was down at Cronulla the other day again. <laughs> I, d I do go down to Cronulla quite a bit, I suppose. It's my local coastline and it's gorgeous and I love being down there and the kids are getting old enough now so we can be down there when it's getting dark and it's just gorgeous, the sun setting, all that sort of thing. So I thought I'd paint something from uh, that. Yes, it's an interesting sunset. It's got some blues and some warms. If you have a look at that photo now, and there's quite a few photos, like if you have a look at some of the skies I've seen lately, they are phenomenal. So yeah, I'm just gonna see how I go painting this. I was gonna do a large card swipe and then I just decided, no, no, I just really wanna see how I go painting this. And the colors are very interesting. So we'll start with some warms, very, very weak, and then we'll move on to the cool up in the sky and then the bottom part of the sky and then the sea. So let's go. I'm doing half a sheet on Reeves, BFK, etching paper, 280 GSM. It's 56 by 38 centimetres, so half a sheet. Yeah, let's just wet. So I use this sort of Telia Silver Hake brush. I just wet, may as well just wet the whole thing. I don't, I don't really need to, but I may as well just help. With nice movement. I'm just gonna get my two inch Holbin, I'm gonna go super, super, super light. So my C is gonna be about here. And I'm just gonna come in above that just. Very light. It's going to be hard for you guys to probably see this, some of this light stuff, because the cameras just can't pick up on what the eye can see. as you a tiny bit of alizarin crimson mix into that uh, winds yellow I rinse the hate brush out and flick it and then I'll just Now what I might do is I might, while this is all wet, I'll come in with the blue, because I don't actually want the blue to go over the top. So we're gonna use cerulean blue. I'll see if I need to darken it at all with, um, I'll just wet the page a bit more out the top. I'll see if I need to darken with any cobalt blue, but we'll go cerulean blue first. We'll get a little bit of cobalt blue. Rinse out. And I'm just going to start to, what I might just do is I might just grab something, put it underneath so that it just helps with a bit of that movement. And I'm just going to help that blue down the page a bit. I don't want it to come into the warms, but we also want a bit of a contrast. So we do want enough strength of tone that there is that contrast between the top So I'm rinsing my hake brush out now and I'm just going to start to I'm just 
going to start to pick up a little bit of this blue here. So I'll just, I'm picking it up, putting it into the tissue, picking it up. Because in this photo, there's a nice bit of white just up into there. So then I'll rinse my brush out in fresh water, flick it out, get some fresh tissues. And I'm just going to again, just start to lift out those lights. Rinse out again in fresh water. Important it's fresh, otherwise you would, this, this white is important. This one, it's going to give this painting some beautiful luminosity. Rinse out again. Flick. And this white won't be very evident until we put a dark against it and we just have a little bit of this, a little tiny bit. Just bring in some of these wispy bits with a little bit of pigment on the brush, but not much. And of course, I don't have to copy this photo, but it is pretty cool to just give you some ideas of what you want to put on the page. Now this is important, this next bit of tone is pretty important. So it needs to be redder than that. A little bit more blue than that. That's pretty good. If you have a look at that, so I've just, that was the original mix and then I've added a bit of Liz and Crimson, two purple, and then I've taken it that way and I think that's pretty good. So I could dry all this, but I think I want a little tiny bit of movement to occur. So, so I'm just going to, I'm just gonna come in with it, not 100% dry. Actually, I'm going to dry it. I'm going to dry it, dry it, dry it. The reason being is that I haven't pre-stretched this, so it's got a few undulations, and I want to be able to make beautiful marks that don't just hit these proud bits here. So I'm just going to dry the whole thing. Just get some fresh water. So it's really important that if I want to wet this, I wet it with completely fresh water. Otherwise, I'm going to make this, if I use dirty water, it would be horrendous. It would just make all of this dirty and and dark and not nice. So I'm just going to just wet this a little bit and then let it sit for a little bit because I just want a bit of a soft edge. I don't want a, a super crisp edge here. So I'll just wet this. I'm just Getting my colour right. Alright, so I'm just going to come across the horizon here. It doesn't really matter if it starts to go down or not, or up a bit. Just going to wait a bit longer.
I'm just waiting a little bit longer before I start to just take it this up a tiny bit higher. Just gonna use my round sable here to just soften this edge here. And then I'm just going to bring in, not put too much water on, but just help this up into here a little bit. Just pick that up a little bit. Pick up that edge a bit. That's it, just. To blend that a little bit. I'm just going to come along with the, the sable with water out to just suck up a bit of those cauliflower edges a bit. I'm just going to come in with a few little wispy bits, almost nothing. All right, let's dry this. Okay, so we're gonna tape off the, the sea or the horizon. And someone was saying the other day, like, how do I get this straight? But I suppose I just look at what the, uh, you know, like that's not, that's not. And then I also make sure I hold the tape evenly. I put pressure in the middle and the middle, because if you put pressure on the edges, it'll make it twist. So you put pressure in the middle and the middle. And I suppose you could obviously measure. I just don't like measuring. All right. I'm just getting my mix of cobalt blue light red and I'm just going to get a bit of this cobalt turquoise. Two inch really because shame to waste that pigment though. Yeah, that's why I don't love these Ron Ranson ones. I should have flicked that out. It's just so full of water. So full of water. Come in on the top here. Nice and oof, almost went over the tape then. She whiz. Maybe that's why you use two lots of tape.
let's lift this up and spray this out a bit. Do it this way. Using a tissue, it'll take out some lights. Let's bring in some darks as well. And I might scratch out some lights at some stage. Let's just dry this. So as you can see, the water and pigment came under the tape. And I used the 3M Magic tape, like the sticky tape. But I think the reason why is I didn't spend a long enough drying this, this layer, which meant it wasn't as stuck down onto the page. And also I used the Ron Ranson hake brush that floods a lot of water onto the page. So again, probably a combination of the two. If it had have been completely dry, it shouldn't have mattered what brush I used really. So it was mostly that it wasn't dry, but also I think, you know, the Ron Ranson hakes do chuck a lot of water and pigment onto the page. So I'm gonna stand back and have a bit of a look, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna to have to just correct that. So for sure I need to fix that. So I just might spend a couple more minutes drying this, like completely thoroughly. And then I'm gonna to have to bring the horizon a tiny bit higher, which is annoying, because I don't really want it any higher. I really don't want it any higher. But I could try using a flat nylon to scrape that out, but then it'll create a, a, a line on the horizon that's light and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna to have to go a bit higher. So I'll just spend a couple more minutes drying it really thoroughly, and then we'll make a nice crisp horizon just above. Press really hard this time, really hard. There's no way that any paint is getting under there this time, no way. And I'm gonna use a sable this time, which again won't flood. And I'm gonna mostly dry brush. I'll come in and feather the edge, but I'm gonna to have to go pretty dark so that I can cover that because it's, pr it's pretty solid bits of pigment. Now this is where I don't want to brush too many times because I'm just going to uh, stuff up the beautiful freshness of this. And also if I come along with just a, I'll, lift, I'll start lifting out some lights, which I don't want either. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to just jiggle that pigment that I could still see coming through a bit. All right, let's dry. 
All right, I'm just going to scrape out a little bit of some lights, these waves, a little bit in here. I know some people don't like the sound of this, I apologise for that. <laughs> and when you're scratching back, if you're doing that, it is a really good idea to just go and stand back as you do it. I'm just going to have a quick look. Yeah, I like it. I like it actually. It's looking it's looking nice. I just I just want to scratch a little bit more out here. I just want to just Take out a light with a flat nylon. Just a very subtle light. And then I just want to take out some more. Lights there. Lovely. I might just, I don't want this one little bit of white here. Oh, what's that? Just softening that. There we go. Beautiful. And the other thing I might just do a little bit of is just to soften this horizon. just softens it ever so slightly, which makes here the subject. And I could have probably not softened it quite so far in here. There we go. And I could just bring in here just a hint. Of some land. But maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> There we go, that'll do.
Well, let's try this. I've just stepped back and had a bit of a look and I think that I, it, it's powerful enough to be able to handle a very subtle signature here. So I'm just gonna sign this here with a very, very subtle signature. There we go, let's try it. All right, thanks for joining me tonight. A bit of a longer one tonight. Took a little bit longer, a little bit more complex, but I really like it in the end. I really do, really lovely, and I think some of those tones really capture that feeling that was down on the beach in the evening down there at Cronulla. I'm sorry for my attire. I'm also sweaty. It's hot in Sydney at the moment, about 30 degrees, and I'm in my little studio. I need to put a fly screen on so I can get some air movement because it gets hot, hair dryer, lighting, all of that sort of thing. So. So thanks for joining me tonight. If you like this video, please press like. And if you want to know about future videos, then press the subscribe button, press the bell button. If you want some more help with your videos, then just join me on Patreon. I've got a few courses on there that can really help you, whether you're beginners or intermediate, or you just want to learn how to paint in this sort of free style, then come and join me on Patreon. Thanks guys. I'll see you next week. Good night.